Kit Swiftkey, and welcome back to Corn Cross's Dead and Breakfast. And we are on the last day, guys. This is the end of the game. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready for it to end. I love this game so much. And I really do recommend that if you guys are enjoying it, that you should buy it yourselves and support the creator because she just did an amazing job. It was just one girl who did this whole game by herself. She actually won an award for it. And the game's only $5 on Steam, so you guys really should check it out and help support her because, like I said, she just did a phenomenal job. Like, what a solid little game. So, yeah, I have the link to the Steam page for this game down in the description below, so I really recommend you guys try it out yourselves and see, you know, experience it for yourself. Because, I mean, it's fun to watch other people play games, but it's an entirely different thing to experience them for yourselves. So... Uh, let's quickly go out and check our garden. Actually, I want to check those presents and see if they are a thing I need to interact with. It's a present. There's a note. Corin, breakfast was awesome. I left all my leftover ingredients in the fridge. Feel free to use them. Have a good life. Shoes. Aww. It's a present. There's a note. Hey, Corin. Breakfast was really fun. I bet all that food's expensive, though. That's why I'm giving you my allowance. Don't spend it all in one place, okay? Sincerely, bless regard, Alex slash the Annihilator. Oh, There was $15 attached. Oh, thank you. It's a present. There's a note. Corin, just wanted to say thanks for breakfast. Yours, Gail. He left you flowers. Oh, Gail. It's a present. There's a note. Old lady, we need to talk. For now, take this. See, there was a candle. Oh, no. Is she still gonna... She's still gonna insist I bring her back. <sighs> Why hasn't Alex moved on? I'm concerned about that. Maybe it's because I told her she should clean up. These flowers look great. These flowers look great. These flowers look great. <laughs> you say that for every single flower corn, really? All right. Um, let's go and talk to everybody if we can find them. Hopefully Alex is moving on. I really hope I didn't mess up by telling her I like a clean house, because that would just be super depressing. Oh, she's not here. Why haven't the rest of you moved on? It's locked. Oh, because shoes left, that's why. Oh, I guess they only show up a day during the day if they're moving on. Let's pop up and just see if Gail is there, because I need my heart broken more. He is not. Okay. Let's see if this door is still locked. Yep. Alright, I guess we'll go do our typical errands then. Hospital, florist, greengrocer. Even though I don't think we need anything with the greengrocer, but... Mm. Hospital. Hi, Mrs. Styron. Mind if I visit? Dot, 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 dot. Mrs. Styron? Oh, I'm sorry, Corin. I was lost in thought. I've been thinking a lot about Gail lately. I mean, I wonder what he would think if he saw me like this. I think he'd just want you to feel better. Yes, that sounds like Gail. He was such a sweet boy. I wish... I wish I could just see him one more time. Dot, dot, dot. I wish I could tell him what a wonderful son he was and how much I loved him. You know, I I think Gail knew that. When I talked to him or er, in high school, I got the sense he really loved his family. Really? That's comforting. Dot, dot, dot. Oh dear, you're making me tear up. Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean. No, it's just you're a very sweet girl, Corin. I just wish I could hear these words from my son. I'm quite the mess. Would you be, mind excusing me, my dear? Sure, Mrs. Dyron. Oh no, am I gonna try to bring Gail back? Oh. Let's go sell these flowers. Might as well get all the muns that we can get. Hi, Chloe. Corn, good you're here. It's urgent. Huh? What's up, Chloe? Okay, I guess I ain't really urgent. But I've been thinking about this life stuff and all, and about whether I should stick with what's safe or do what I really want. And I just, I don't know. What do you think, Corin? Stability is important or follow your dreams. <sighs> While it is nice to have a stable job, if that job does not make you happy, 
then what is the point? That's my feelings towards it. Because it's one thing to have stability, but if you're sacrificing your happiness, then it's not really worth it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love stability. I get really anxious when things aren't stable, but if it meant I had to live in misery because I hated my job, no. Follow your dreams, girl. I think you have to follow your dreams. I mean, if you spend your life doing something that doesn't make you happy, it's kind of sad, isn't it? See, Corin's on my level. She gets it. That's true. That's true. Hmm. I need money. I guess some things are easier said than done, though. Even if I wanted to follow my dreams, what would I do? I love to knit, but I can't really make any money doing that. Uh, you can open a yarn store and teach knitting classes. How many times I gotta tell you this, woman? Uh, I don't need to buy any of that stuff. Uh, sell flowers. Let's see, you have five flowers. How many do you want to sell me? Um, you can have four. I'll keep one. All right, so you're going to sell me four flowers? Yes. All right, I'll buy flowers for you from blah, 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 128 bucks, sure. Um, chat. I have some thinking to do. But this is my last day. Why was there no closure there? Let's go see the green grocer, I guess, even though I don't need anything. Hi, Dimitri. Hello, Corin. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Dimitri. Corin, you are a smart young businesswoman. Uh, I'm not really into business. I actually studied writing. Life is business. Business is life. Let me tell you a secret of success. Sure, I'm all ears. Secret is customer loyalty. To me, all customers are like family. If groceries too heavy, I carry. If tire flat, I get air pump and fill up tire. Why am I doing these things? Because I care for customer. Because without customer, my business is nothing. It shows customer Dimitri is not just salesman. Dimitri will put some care into the groceries, yes? Dimitri is friend. Sure, I get it. Same thing applies to any kind of business, whether business of writing or friendship, or even business of business. Or running a bed and breakfast. Exactly, especially for a bed and breakfast. Customer loyalty is so important in the hotel industry. Thanks for the advice, Dimitri. You are welcome. Advice is just advice. You can use or you cannot use. Also good advice. Buy lots from Dimitri. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to buy the last two candles because I can afford it. I don't think I need anything else. I've got lots of food. Like, oh, my gosh. I'm not sure how this game's going to end, guys. Like, this is the last day. So, yeah, let's just double check. Oh, my gosh, I have so much stuff. Oh, yeah, because he left a bunch of ingredients. So I've got one chalk, one flowers, and five candles. I got everything that's needed for that resurrection spell, but I really don't want to freaking do it. All right. Nothing back here. So there was nobody in the house, right? Is Alex hiding? Oh, hi, Hermina. Good morning, Miss Cross. Hey, Hermina. That was quite the racket last night. Oh, yeah, the ghost wanted to have the big breakfast party. I hope he didn't keep you up too much. Don't concern yourself with that, Miss Cross. You certainly seem to be enjoying yourself. Uh, not at all, or I sure am. Uh, I mean, it hasn't all been peaches and roses and happiness, but I mean, it's been fun. Yeah, I've learned so many things since I came here. I think I can actually help these people. I'm glad to hear it. Hermina, I was wondering... Do you know why I'm able to see them? It's a power a rare few are born with. It's not something anyone can decide on. But I've never seen a ghost before in my life. At least, I don't think so. This house is gifted in the same way you are. It holds an energy. That's why it's very fortunate that you came here. I see. I'm glad to see you are embracing your gift, Miss Cross. It's definitely been interesting, to say the least. I might go visit Julia later. I've been meaning to call on her, but I find hospitals to be terribly depressing. This is coming from a former funeral director? Funerals are, all, are about saying goodbye and making peace. Hospitals are filled with people clinging to the bare threads of hope. I never thought about it like that. That's depressing. Thanks, Romina. Alright, let's see if... I don't think Alex is hiding anywhere. 
All right, I guess, I mean, I don't have anything to cook because Shoes is gone. Is he the only ghost I got to successfully cross over? If that's the case, I'm gonna be real bummed out. I'm just gonna check all the rooms, just being thorough. I already checked Gail's room, so. Just, I don't wanna miss anything. Oh, oh, I should check the bathroom though, just in case. Full on nothing. All right, I guess I'll just go to bed with 100% energy. I mean, I'm just basically waiting out the clock to see what's going on with all the ghosts. Agatha updated her status. Nobody understands what I'm going through. Unlike most of you, Gail and I were actually friends. Jeez, savage. All right, I guess we'll try to sleep. I mean, there's nothing else I can really do. Wow, last night. Stats update from Max. I feel like Gail, if Gail was alive, we would have been total bros. Oh, all right. Nope, there we go. All right, Alex. Corin. Hi, Alex. Do you want to play? Yeah. Sure, Alex. Yay. Actually, I think I'm done playing. Really? Yeah, I mean, playing is fun and all, but I've been thinking about it, and I can't just play here forever, can I? All I ever wanted was someone who would play with me and talk with me, and I just wanted a friend. And now I have one, Corin. So, I think I'm really happy. I'm really happy we met Corin, and I think I won't regret anything at all. Alex. So, uh, bye, Corin. Thanks for everything. Aww. That's so cute. I had so much fun. Oh, bye, Alex. I had a lot of fun too, Alex. Aww. Alex crossed over. All right, all I got left is Zara and Gail. We need to talk. Hey, Zara. I've been doing some thinking about the spell and the hair, and I guess I've never really thought it would work. Even if the hair hadn't been cremated, I just, I didn't. Are you afraid or you don't have to be afraid? <sighs> I don't know, the correct response is here. I have a feeling if I say you don't have to be afraid, I feel like, I don't know, if I say, are you afraid, she's gonna be like, no, I'm totally not, of course, I'm totally cool. But if I'm like, you don't have to be afraid, that might crack her exterior and have her be like, uh, I'm gonna say you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid, Zara. Shut up. What do you know? You can't know what it's like to be dead. Shit, I picked the wrong thing. You get to keep living. It's, it's not fair. You're right, it's not fair. I'm really sorry, Zara. Well, did you manage to collect all the ingredients for the spell? Uh, did I pick the wrong thing there? Do I need to go back? Uh, I did, but I don't have your hair. And I don't want to do it. Yeah, I collected everything, but without the hair. Just listen, I want you to do one last thing for me. What's that? I want you to use the spell on Gale. What? Think about it. You can help him stay here. I bet his mom will get better in a heartbeat. But the hair, his body was probably cremated too. Don't you know where we are? This is his house. I'm sure you can find one hair of his somewhere. Dot, dot, dot. It's your job, Corin. You're the only one who can see us, who can talk with us. You could bring Gail back. I don't know if all of this stuff is for real, but what if it is? There's even the smallest chance it could work. Just think about it, okay? If you find some of his hair, come talk to me. All right, I really don't think this is a good idea. I bet that's what's behind that last locked door. Mm, he's not here. Yep. <sighs> Looks like someone left a hairbrush here. You obtained Gail's hairbrush. It still has some hairs in it. Gail's hair. 
Oh, Gail, where are you? I want to talk to you before I do this. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. quickly check the graveyard. I don't think there's anything out here. No. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't want to do that to Gail. He's not going to really be alive. He's just going to hang around and disturb his mother when she needs to move on. One of the worst things you can do when you lose somebody is just hold on. Like, hold on to the memory, yes, but don't stop living your life. Oh, I'm going to go give it to her. This is not a good idea. Did you find it? Yeah, I found his hairbrush. Then we might be able to bring him back. Are you ready to try? Uh, no. If I say no, will we not go through with it? Uh, not quite yet. Okay, hurry up and come talk to me when you're ready. No, okay. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Oh, this is going to go so poorly. Okay, everything's set up. All you have to do is call Gail over and loudly say the world renaissance DM. How do I get Gail over here? Duh, just call him. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, Corin, I... What? Yeah? Just good luck. Okay, here it goes. Gail? Dot, dot, dot. Gail! Corin, what are you doing? Gail, I noticed my hairbrush is gone. Well, you don't need it, do you? Yeah, I was gonna brush my, I was gonna use to brush my ghost hair. But seriously, did Zara put you up to this? No, well, I mean, she's the one who told me all about this, but Gail, I can bring you back to life. What? It's a spell, and I don't know how it really works, or if it'll even work, but if it does, you'll be alive again. Well, sort of. I mean, you'll be visible to everyone. You'll be able to see your mom and everything. Corin. All I have to do is say one word, and the spell will bring you back. Corin, you don't have to do this. I, I'm not sure about this. Oh, God, I didn't realize these choices were going to be so hard. Cast the spell or don't cast the spell. I don't want to do this. I've said this from the beginning. It's not what Gail wants. I'm not doing it. Gail, I, I, I can't do it. Corin. Gail, I just, I thought if, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, don't be. I would, it would have been nice to see mom again. I do wish things could go back to how they were, but at the same time, I'm not afraid to die, Corin. Well, technically I've already died, but what I mean is I'm not afraid of moving on. But Gail, I can't be sad when I had such a good life, even if it was cut a little short. But if physics has taught me anything, my energy will still be out there. What? You know, conservation of energy. The first law of thermodynamics. Energy can't be created or destroyed. It's simply transformed from one form to another. Even after I move on, my energy will still exist. Don't you think? It will just be in a different shape. Gail, that's like the nerdiest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Maybe that's all totally ridiculous. But it makes me feel a little better. Yeah, me too. Besides, I used to think things like ghosts and mediums were ridiculous. Yet here we are. Don't be sad, Corn. I wish things could have been different, but... Aww. I'm really glad you were here. Oh, I stand by my decision to not bring him back. That was the right call. I'm glad too, Gail. Keep writing, okay? I will. Bye, Corrin. Bye, Gail. Oh. 
Cesar is the only person I didn't get to cross over. <sighs> Can I help her cross over? No, she's just gone. That's it. I really wouldn't have felt right bringing Gail back. Hermina warned me it wasn't the right thing to do. Oh, should I just go to bed? I feel like I failed because I didn't get Zara to cross over. Is Hermina in the graveyard? I feel like this is a very weird ending. I'm hoping there's like an epilogue. Oh, I'm really angry that I said the wrong thing to Zara. I wonder if she, she would have crossed over if I just made a different choice there. Uh, yeah, no, nobody's around. I didn't realize there were so many choices in this game that could affect the outcome. I wonder what would have happened if we had brought Gale back. Alright, I'm gonna save and go to sleep. end of the week. My last night here. I guess this is the end of the week here. It'll be kind of weird going back home now. So I'm on day eight. So wait, what am I supposed to do now? Still not here. Oh, Gail, I'm still having feels. Oh, at least he moved on. Oh, all the stuff is gone. Oh, and I forgot to, I didn't notice. I think Alex picked up all her stuff. That's sad too. I'm gonna be real rotted if I didn't get Zara to cross over. Oh, it's locked. I guess I don't get another ch Oh! You're ready to cross over because it's daytime! Oh, thank God. <laughs> hey, cross. Oh, hey, Zara. I'm out of here. Really? Yeah, I mean, I saw what happened yesterday, and I I heard what Gail said. Um, I guess he's right. I guess dying doesn't sound so bad if you think about it that way. And I'll be gone, but, you know, I'll still be around. I'm actually happy that my bed didn't quit just because I died. So I guess I'll just still kind of be alive. Definitely, Zara. Anyways, I'm out of here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm totally over this. So yeah, thanks, Warren. I guess you're not a totally terrible medium after all. It's It's been real. Yeah! I got everybody crossover. Peace out, old lady. Bye, Zara. Woo! Got everybody to cross over. Okay, now now I'm pleased. <laughs> I was really worried that was not gonna happen. All right, no, I have nothing going on here. Yeah, and Alex did pick up all her toys. Uh, all right. No, oh, Hermina's there. Oh, we got mail. There's something in the mail. A letter from Gail? Corin, can I ask you one last favor? When I was in the hospital, I wanted to write a letter for my mom. Just some last things I had to tell her. I never got around to writing it, though. I guess I was afraid of what it meant if I actually wrote it down. My mind's been clearer since I died. I was hoping you could deliver this for me. You can tell her you found it in the box of things from the hospital. Thank you, Corin, for everything. Yours, Gail. We got Gail's letter. <sighs> All right, let's go talk to Hermina. Miss Cross, Hermina, you're looking even more tired than usual. Did you do it? Did you attempt to cast the spell? No, I realized that it was for the best to leave things as they were. I'm glad to hear it. Do you believe in magic, Miss Cross? Nope, but I don't believe in ghosts either. Or <laughs> I didn't believe in ghosts either. Hmm, you should go visit Julie at the hospital before you leave. Oh, okay, good idea. Dot, dot, dot. 
Bye, Hermina. <laughs> okay. Uh, where should I go? Let's let's go to the hospital first. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to go to the florist and the green grocer. I'd like to see what Chloe decided to do with her life. Oh, Corin, good. I was hoping you would visit. Hello, Mrs. Starian. How are you feeling? Much better. The doctor says my weak hair has done me good. I should be able to return home soon. That's great. That's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. I'm selling the house. What? Really? I can't live there anymore, dear. But where will you go? I'm moving to the coast. I have family there and a chance at a new life. But the B&B, &B, you can't sell it. I know this sounds crazy, but I, it, what are you trying to say, dear? I, you don't have to worry. I've made arrangements and the B&B &B will be in good hands. Huh? I'm selling it to Hermina. She's made a very generous offer. She's promised to keep it all intact. You're kidding. I have to thank you for coming to visit me here so often. It meant a lot to a sad old woman. I was happy to, Mrs. Iron. Coin. No mother should ever have to bury their child. Maybe I'll never be able to think of Gail without sadness. But he would have wanted me to find a way to be happy again. I think so. Life can be hard and cruel, but... It's good to know there's some kindness out there. Definitely. I should let you rest now, Mrs. Styron. Oh, but first, I have something for you. A letter from Gail. It was in his box of stuff from the hospital. Think you're ready to read it? Dot, dot, dot. I, I think I am. He gave Mrs. Styron Gail's letter. Thank you, Colin. Aww. I'm glad we were able to give her some closure. I'm gonna go to the florist and see what Chloe decided to do with her life. Corn. Hi, Chloe. It's my last day looking after Mrs. Styron's house. I'll be heading home today. Wow, so soon? I can't believe it's only been a week. Feels like it's been longer somehow. You're telling me. I'm glad you stopped by before you left. Last night I was thinking about our talks. You know, about how you want to be a writer, me never really aiming to be a florist and all. It really got me thinking. You know, about following my dreams and stuff. Well, I don't think I can just up and quit the florist business. I mean, I, I need the money. It's been in the family for so long and all. But I decided I, will, I can still pursue what I want outside of the flower shop. I'm going to open up one of them internet stores and sell my knitting there. Told ya. Yeah, well, it's not quite a yarn store, but same concept. Chloe, that's a great idea. Right? Anyone who can open one of them online stores nowadays. I figured I could knit during my downtime here, and well, who knows? Maybe people will like them. I'm sure they will. I'll be your first customer. Oh, golly, Corin, you're the best. Here, I actually made this for you. Aww, hand it scarf. This is totally awesome. Thank you, I love it. Glad you like it. It looks great on you. Very fashionable, if I do say so myself. Aww. I have an adorable scarf now. All right, let's pop over and see Dimitri. We gotta say goodbye to everybody, cause you know. Hey Dimitri, I don't know what happened in the music. Hi Dimitri. Hello, Miss Corrin. How are you today? Well, it's my last day looking after the house. So soon? I feel like I am just meeting you yesterday. Yeah, the week really flew by. Corrin, don't forget my secret of a success that I am telling you. I won't, Dimitri. Kindness you put out in the world is always returning to you, no matter what business you want to be doing. My story is not very big, and maybe I am not a millionaire, but I think I am big success businessman all the same. Definitely. Ah. I'm getting all the achievements for completing all of this. You guys can't see them, but I am. All right, let's pop home. So Hermina's buying the bed and breakfast, huh? I wonder if she needs a caretaker. I was just talking about you. Hermina, Hermina. Hello, Corin. Did you really buy this place? I did. That's amazing. Corin, will you stay here for a while? The spirits, they reach out to you. They need you. You have a special power. It's a gift. Stay here and help them on their voyage. I will. I will, Hermina. Ah! I don't know what happened to the music. I feel like there's supposed to be music right now. <laughs> Excellent. I couldn't be more pleased with your decision. And I'll do what I can to assist you. There will be many spirits who will show pass through this place. 
And I'll have breakfast ready for all of them. Very good, Miss Cross. Shall we go inside and celebrate with some tea? Yeah, let's. Ah. That was such a good ending. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, Cecilia Bishton, you are a marvel. What a great game. So good. And I got everybody to cross over, and I got closure with everybody. Oh, so good, so good. I'm sad it's over, but what a good ending. I'm really glad I didn't decide to do that spell. I think if I had done it, it probably wouldn't have worked. But I'm glad I did it. Maybe Gail, well, it would have prevented Gail from crossing over, and he would have been stuck in basically limbo forever, because he would have been trapped in this visible form, but he wouldn't have been in a body. He would have still been dead. It's just he would have been visible to everybody, which is not ideal. <laughs> like, you know, you want people to move on if you believe in an afterlife. You have unlocked new game plus mode. What's that do? It's a harder version of the game with extra content and bonus scenes. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do that. I don't know if I'll do that for the channel. Um, I might just do that on my off time. Uh, but if you guys want to see it, then I highly suggest you buy this game and play through it yourself and support this amazing game designer. She did such a good job. Like, I really want her to have some support. And like I said, description's down, or description. Link to buy the game is down in the description below. You can get it on Steam. It's only $5, and it is well worth that. Trust me. Uh... I'm just gonna leave that for now until I finish this recording. But yeah, oh my gosh, I love that game. Such a good game, really enjoyed it, solid story. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did enjoy this series, please press the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. I really do appreciate all of your support and I will see you guys in my next series. Have a great day.